Hello, this is the Hydrema 707G articulating dump truck. In this video, we're gonna walk through the daily maintenance procedures that you'll need to do before you operate the vehicle. Please pay special attention to the safety procedures that we talk about so you go home safe at the end of the day. Also, all of the steps we talk about are found in the operator's manual, which will be kept in the cab of the truck. The first stop on our maintenance checks today will be to engage the main battery for the truck. The main battery switch is found right behind the cab. We're gonna turn it to this position to engage the battery. One word of caution on this, after you've completed operations and shut the engine off, wait at least two minutes before you disconnect the battery. That allows the DEF system to purge completely. If you don't do this, you're gonna get a check engine light the next time you crank the truck. Our next step is to enter the cab of the truck. We want to turn the key to the run position, but not crank the engine yet. The run position allows us to raise the hood so we can perform the underhood engine checks. We're now standing behind the cab opposite the driver's door. We're going to use this toggle switch to raise the hood so we can do the engine checks. Now we'll do the underhood engine checks. I like a small flashlight to do these checks. We're gonna look for loose wires, loose hoses, any leaks, and we're gonna look at the quality of the belts to make sure they're not frayed. First, we'll look at the coolant levels to make sure that the coolant is at the proper level. The next step is to look at the washer fluid levels to make sure there's plenty of washer fluid for a dirty job site. Now we check the belts to make sure that they're not frayed or loose. Next, we'll check the engine oil level. Pull that out, clean the dipstick, put it all the way back in and lock it, and then we'll check the fluid level on the gauge. And our oil looks good. And the last thing we'll check under the hood is the air filter quality. So we'll pull this housing off, shine our light in there, and make sure these filters are not occluded with dirt so the engine's getting plenty of air. Be sure to put the housing back in place. We've completed the engine checks, so now we'll close the hood and move on to our next step. So now we start the truck. And we'll do our safety checks in the back. Make sure that area is clear of anybody behind us. Now we're gonna raise the dump bed all the way to the full upright position. Okay, now the dump bed is in the full upright position for our checks. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the engine switch off. We're gonna take the key with us as we do the checks in the back. By doing this, no one can enter the cab and crank the engine while we're back there doing our checks. It's a good safety tip. So we've got several checks to do under here. So we've raised the dump bed out of the way to allow us access to the area. A Couple of key things that we're gonna need to do. The first thing is we're gonna need to secure this dump bed by raising the safety bar to block it. that bar secures the bed. The other thing is this is an articulating dump truck that turns around this pivot point here. You never want to be standing in this articulation space when the engine's running, because these wheels come very close together and you just don't want to be in this area. Now we're going to do the battery compartment checks. So we're going to open the battery compartment here to expose the battery. We're really looking for loose battery connections and corrosion. This battery looks very good. Please note the 707G uses a 24 volt electrical system. So if you need to boost the battery on this truck, follow the instructions on this back panel or in your owner's manual to avoid damaging the electrical components of the truck. Now that we've completed the battery checks and closed the battery compartment, we're gonna open the rear access panel. In this panel, you'll see a lot of hoses. All we're looking for in here 
is leaks on a daily check. Every 50 hours of operation, the fuel water separator has to be drained, which you drain at the bottom. Once everything looks good, we're gonna close the panel. So for your next step, you're gonna need the grease gun. This is a hard working part of the truck back here, so we wanna grease this every day. The things we wanna grease are the tipping cylinders, the swivel cylinders, the hinge for the dump bed, and the swivel plate here. If you do these every day, this machine's gonna run great. After every five days of operation, you also wanna grease the articulation joint and the articulation cylinders on this truck. So we've now completed our checks and our maintenance work under the bed in the back of the truck. So we're going to return the safety bar to its home position. I'm gonna go back to the cab, crank the truck, and lower the bed all the way. Now that we've returned to the truck and the bed is down, we're gonna crank the engine. We wanna put the truck in reverse, holding the brake and listen for the backup alarm. So the backup alarm is working fine. So we'll go back to neutral on that. We're gonna turn the truck lights on and then we're gonna do a walk around of the truck to make sure all the lights are working. So every day we wanna walk around and check each tire visually. Make sure that the treads are good, there's no nails or punctures or tears on the tire, and everything looks good on this one. At the end of the week, we wanna make sure that we check the air pressure in each tire. So now from the driver's seat, I wanna make sure everything's good for me. So I'm gonna check the positioning of my rear view mirrors, I'm gonna make sure that my rear camera's working, I'm gonna look at all the glass to make sure all the glass in here is good and solid, not broken. Remember, all the steps we've talked about are included in your operator manual. Make this part of your daily routine to do these maintenance and safety checks. You'll get many years of great service from this truck.